Uh, how about partial correlation? Uh, I'll just read what I had. I said partial correlation is a measure of the simple correlation between two variables, x and y, given that a third variable, z, is held constant. The partial correlation of x and y when you control for z is much lower than the simple correlation between x and y. Instead, that z is a mediated variable, or that z may partly explain the difference between x and y. Um, but the statistical analysis will not always be helpful in determining which variable is the mediating variable. If any one may be a fair thing to Okay. Good. Okay. Okay, the last handful of terms. The partial correlation is a three variable model. It's a correlation between two variables, one dependent, one dependent, after accounting for the influence of the third variable on both of them. Right. For example, if you took out the influence by running a simple regression on the third variable with the dependent variable, and the third variable on the independent variable of your instrument. And you subtract the fitted values from the uh, each of the uh, two variables of interest. Mm -hmm. and you've got residuals for the two variables. And if you took the simple correlation between those two residuals, you would get the partial correlation. Right. Okay. Anybody give it to me in very, very plain English terms? Measures marked the magnitude of direction relationship while controlling for one or more variables which may impact that relationship. Good. So that's a very, very basic one. You're all correct. I don't know what you guys said. Very basically, uh, you're not following the first two ones. Basically, it's the correlation between two variables. And since we understand that there's a third variable in there that's probably affecting one of them, once we control for that effect, then whatever correlation is left over, that is the partial correlation. So in um, regression analysis, um, <coughs> in our multiple regression analysis, the one where we have the homeworks and uh, homeworks and salaries, let's say, <coughs> we introduce another independent variable. Um, by the way, does everybody understand the difference between an independent variable and an ind independent variable? Are all independent variables random variables? No. No? No. Could you explain the difference? Yeah, the difference. The difference between a random variable yeah, and an independent, independent variable. variable. Yeah. Well, uh, an, an independent variable is something that's um, affecting the dependent variable. Mm -hmm. uh, it does not necessarily have to be random. It can have a strong correlation to other uh, types of independent variables. So you might decide to run a regression on, say, um, let's say um, the independent variable is um, ice cream sales. And one of the independent variables might be the weather, and another might be whether um, children are around, something like that. They all might be very heavily correlated to each other, all three of them. Uh, some of them might be positive, some of them might be negative, but they all might have some sort of a relation to each other, but the independent variables and the terms independent come from the fact that they are they are the first ones that are introduced. They are the ones that are affecting the dependent variable. That's where they get the name independent. But there can be you know a bias associated with the model. You can kind of imply that in any way, shape, or form. In terms of linear regression, can they be very bad by linear results? Uh, yeah, if you don't control for it properly, there are, there are ways that you can control for it. Basically, there are, as I said, there are, there are three. Once you get the, the foundation for regression, you'll learn that there are three really big problems that might arise. And so this example that I'm giving, that would be an example where all of the repeatables, uh, there's a pattern to the repeatables. And so any time that there's going to be a pattern to the residuals, that's what Said the statistician and econometrics, um, people who follow econometrics, they'll say that there's a bias in there. And most of the time you can correct for it. Sometimes you can. <coughs> in this data, I found a very interesting bias, and a few interesting bias that we'll get into in a little bit. You can control for 
or one of the different types of regressions. You talk about uh, one of the time series regressions, for example, you think that time might end up being a variable that might be influencing in the relationship between one or more independent variables and independent variables. 